live from Fox 56 Sports. This is Home Team Friday Nights. Welcome into week two of Home Team Friday Nights, or lack thereof. If I'm Mitch Brown alongside Michael Epps, and you know what? The rain usually doesn't stop the parade, but tonight it certainly did. Lack thereof, it makes sense. You know, we, uh, we print out our rundowns here. <laughs> the original rundown got completely scrapped. One of these here, our first video, we're gonna show you, weather destroyed us, because that's what happened. There was rain all across this region. All of our kickoff times absolutely destroyed. Now, I do like some of these teams' determination. We had a couple games just kick off a few minutes ago, which is impressive. Bourbon County, South Laurel, they just kicked off. And how about down the street at Lafayette? 10 p.m. kickoff with a student section full out there. But a lot of game changes and time changes and date switcheroos. So let's go ahead and give you a, an update as we head into the weekend of what to expect if you are looking to catch some high school football this weekend. Let's pull up these full screens here. Lexington Catholic versus Madison Central. It was supposed to start tonight. That is 2 p.m. tomorrow. All these games are Saturday. 7.30 p.m. you got Scott County, Great Crossing, then Frederick Douglass down in Trinity. They're going to try and play there again. 2 p.m. in that one. Yeah, also in town, down there in Madison County, Southern, they're going to be playing at 10 a.m. That what? is an early kickoff. Coach Hawks Coffee. and the guys at Tate's Creek, they're going to have an early bus ride down there. Mercer County, that game, had they had the bowl game in Versailles. They're going to ax that one and play this game against Dunbar at home at Alvis Johnson Field. And then East Jess, they said, hey, screw it for this weekend. We're <laughs> just going to kick it all the way to our bye week, October 6th. So they're going to look ahead to that one. But at least we're going to have some football on Saturday. Some of these games on top of some fantastic matchups, Mitch. you down in Boyle County. you got LCA, Boyle County. Those are two state yeah. front runners in Class 2A, Class 4A battling. And you got Bryan Station as well. They both look good. One other game to note, Woodford County, Simon Kitten. It was the yeah. second half of that Velazzi Bowl, the inaugural Velazzi Bowl yeah. out there in Versailles. That game was postponed and it will not be rescheduled. So uh, that game wow. has uh, faded into the abyss it's here. Uh, but yeah, it was tough. Uh, a lot of people, shout out to everybody that was out there, grounds crews and, yeah. and uh, school officials and county officials making sure the kids stayed safe and ultimately making the right decision this evening. Just too much lightning and it was so frequent uh, out there and the rain was a lot in transit for a lot of people so safety the biggest thing here good call by everybody absolutely and of course these aren't district games right so right. you don't have to get these in woodford scratching that one but of course it's going to be fun for some of these games i mean that douglas trinity game is huge i mean that that'll be fun i'm glad that they're going to be able to get that mm -hmm. one in it's a big 6 a matchup with douglas bumping on yeah it is especially after trinity uh last week able to take care of brian station yeah. so uh that is going to be interesting tomorrow 2 p.m kickoff for that one uh, but when we come back,